uh, you were born on February 5th, 1953, which makes you 50 something. And uh, it so. 55. Makes you 55, exactly. Okay, and in Indiana, you'd say the northeast corner of Indiana. Um, do we not know the town? Well, I didn't actually live in a town. There were several towns around. I lived on uh, a sequence of farms. The nearest large town to us was Fort Wayne, Indiana, but there were several other small towns like Oberland and Yoder and Poe. So if I was to write a letter to you, how would it get to you? Like, you know, obviously a P.O. box, no? No, it, um, no matter where I lived, my address was always Route 1. <laughs> it didn't matter. Um, well, how did a letter ever get to your family? It's, <laughs> well, we didn't get a lot of mail. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, let's talk about your dad. Your dad was interesting. He was a farmer. Both your parents were farmers, and they did a number of things, but then he, uh, he, he was also a mechanic. My dad, uh, the stories I heard about him growing up when he was a child was that uh, every time he got a new toy, they would take it apart and put it back together. So he, uh, you know, he was kind of mechanically gifted. So he never had formal training as an auto mechanic? No, he just uh, sort of picked it up and he opened his own business in one of the small towns near us and uh, was quite successful and then sold that business and uh, farmed full-time for a while and then uh, took a job with a, a car dealership in uh, Fort Wayne where he also worked for the marina and so on the weekends uh, he would deliver boats that had been sold and I would drive them because the marketing uh, thing if you will was if this little child can operate this large boat, surely you can too. Well, this is, no, this is no ordinary little child that was operating a boat, and I would have matched your driving skills with most of your, you know, most of the older people around you. At the time. Well, I didn't kill anybody, so that's good. <laughs> how, did they, how old were you at the time? Um, I was about seven or eight. <laughs> seven or eight? Yeah. Looking back on that, do you think that you were put in any danger? Um, uh, I think that it's a miracle that my brother and I survived our time in Indiana. <laughs> um, I think that we were in rather constant danger. So, I see. So compared to the social, the social climate of uh, <laughs> driving a boat with Hitler, they will say. Well, uh, you know, my first time driving the car, I was not even, uh, I couldn't even reach the pedals. I think I was about three years old sitting on my grandfather's lap. I, I, people here probably are old enough, but we used to have these, what they call coops, that we drove between farms. Coops were kind of like, those sort of like uh, bugs, you know, with running boards on the side. So, um, this is a terrible story, but a true story. My okay. grandfather would have a bottle of beer in one hand. He would start the car and set me on his lap, and then I would just steer <laughs> to the farm, and he would work the pedals. So that's how I learned to drive. So. <laughs> And, you know, <laughs> well, now I feel infinitely safe with you, should you want to drive me anyway? Yeah, because now I can reach the house.